Uh, well, we're going to call them the Kraken, or as they're known as oh, Angie it's a and good Matt. Surprise. All right. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, guys. How are you? Hey. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, can you tell us a little bit quickly about, uh, about well, you guys were there yesterday with Prime, uh, and I noticed you from the distance. I was going from truck to truck to tell people thank you, and I see this big Kraken. So, Angie, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit about the Kraken? Yes, the Kraken, we came up with the idea because we love the uh, parts of the Caribbean movies, and the famous line goes, release the Kraken. And we, we both, uh, my husband and I, love the ocean and how the calming the ocean is. We just figured to feature that on our truck, and along with the Kraken, the octopus is our favorite sea creature. So we just kind of incorporated all that into our truck. It's great. You know, we were writing uh, country songs yesterday on the show. I think there's one there. My truck's got 18 wheels and eight arms to... Uh, no, that's not working. That's not working. And it's got eight tentacles. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Angie, where are you and Matt headed today? We are probably going to be heading up to Pennsylvania. Okay, and can you gotta let people know? I said you guys were there. You got in early that morning. You made sure that so many people had um, wreaths to put on those uh, those gravestones. Can you can you talk about what the experience meant to you a little bit? The experience was, I mean, it's I can't put it into words. I mean, it's speechless. Mm -hmm. It was a very very moving experience. I mean, we've delivered wreaths to cemeteries in the past. I go up to Michigan. And uh, over to Springfield, Missouri last year. And every cemetery has its own equal power of, like, movie experience. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? I it mean, makes perfect sense. Every single, every single national cemetery has its own sense of awe and wonder. Its own sense of awe absolutely. and wonder. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I mean, we started our trip up in uh, Maine. We've had a chance quite a few times to meet the Worcesters, and they're wonderful people. And just from standing around the pot belly st uh, stove, like you described, all the way to delivering the wreaths in Arlington and across the country, across the worldwide, it's a very moving uh, experience because everybody is like a one big family. And no matter where you're from and wh what you do for a living, everybody, I mean, we were all out there in the rain yesterday, and, and it did not feel like it because it's just one big moving for one awesome cause for our fallen veterans. Well, let me show you how much friends make. Well, let me show you how much friends make a difference. If I hadn't seen, if I hadn't seen Don Krause's truck and I was racing over there, I had to get around a group of people to get there. So on the way back, on the walk back, if I hadn't seen Don's truck, I wouldn't have seen the Kraken. And if I hadn't seen the Kraken, I wouldn't have met Matt. If I hadn't met Matt, I wouldn't have met you. And by the way, Claire Marie, uh, I went over to tell Angie hello just to kind of shake her hand because she was in the cab. And she said, I, I, you're not shaking my hand. I'm coming out of this cab right now. And she came out and gave a big hug. And uh, she's right. It's a real sense of family. Family. I, I'm so glad you guys called on my request. I really appreciate it. Uh, be safe, okay, on the rest of your journeys, and you're always welcome to call back anytime, okay, Andy? Yeah, it's been an honor to meet you guys. It was a very honor to meet you guys, and like I said real quick, is we, have, we even helped place the race, and it was just the honor to be a part of that whole thing, and I'm glad to have very glad to have met you guys and everything works in wonderful ways out there and i really definitely appreciate it all right well that is the crack and angie and matt good to talk to you both safe uh safe travels i thought you'd like that surprise a little bit yeah um, thank you what i'm gonna do is we got a we got a bunch of people in the queue um and like we did last time i don't want to bull rush anybody we'll be talking to hated next but i, I don't want to speed anybody off the phone I just don't want to do that to anybody. Uh, phone lines are closed, by the way, now. The phone lines are now officially closed. Yes, ma'am. All right. Well, since you weren't at my Christmas party...